Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Figured I'd give you an update on the new bus and we're gonna unbox that battery so I can get it installed. Alright, so a company sent me this battery and uh, we're going to unbox it and get it ready to install. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about mounting everything, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go over here on this board. And uh, I can't figure all that out until I open this box. What we got here is a Grinner Power Green Energy 300 amp hour lithium ion battery and we're going to get this thing unboxed and ready to go for install over there on the bed i got a bunch of parts that are going to go with it so just got to get this battery opened up and take a look at it so why don't you join me and uh, when we get done with this i'll show you some updates on the bus on what i got done and hopefully soon we'll be on the road so let's crack this box open. All right, so I got the sandals with socks. You know, everybody loves that, even the trolls. So I'm gonna open this, show you what's inside. I haven't even opened it yet. I've been waiting for uh, this video. This company hit me up and asked me to show off their battery, so let's show it off. We've got a couple cards here. Here's what the batteries look like. We got up to 300 amp hours. Here's all the specs. When you get your Victron inverter, and you can put in all that in the uh, programming. Ooh, looks really nice. You want to see it? There you go. Might be backwards. I'll flip it in uh, production. And here's the battery. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Nice packaging. Looks like it. Went through hell on the way here. The bolts. Looks like there's enough room for one lug. Let's <clears throat> throw those right there. Take these hands. Put the knife away before I cut myself. Hey, there's more bolts. I wonder if they're any longer. Let's check. What's a 13? Just in case y'all want to know. Okay, these are no longer than these. Actually, I think the ones in the box are longer than the ones in the battery. So. I'm going to I'm going to attempt to get this on the charger and get it charged up and then I'll start hooking it up and uh, I'll show you what it does. I'm going to do a stress test on this battery and see how long it runs the fridge. should run it for, uh, I would imagine, a week. But I also got a fuse box for 12 volts. I'm going to run this battery to the dome lights and run the dome lights off of this battery also uh, I'll be charging it with a generator while I'm on the road other than that it'll be uh, you know plug in charge battery run everything all right I got the area clean I'm gonna remove this seat belt because I don't need it I'm just gonna take the bolt out maybe I can use whatever's there 
to build a box for this battery. But let me show you how the battery It fits there pretty good. I'm gonna get some kind of box made for that and then I will mount the other stuff up above. All right, well, removing this seat belt isn't as easy as I thought. So I went underneath, put some vice grips on the nut and I uh, hope that works because I'm only one person. I can't hold the nut and turn the wrench at the same time. All right, I got the seat belt off. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't impossible. Now I got a hole. I'm probably probably run a power cord through there. All right, just for testing purposes, I've mounted a board to the wall. I'm gonna start putting some equipment on there and uh, get the layout, and then uh, I'm gonna eventually build a cabinet for all this, but. Home Depot's far away and I'm not gonna make a trip just for this. I'm gonna have to grab some stuff next time I go. I really need a circular saw. It's, it's hard to build a bus without a circular saw. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some cables made up and put the shunt and the, uh, the fuse. Here's the fuse. These are the ones I like to use because they're 5 8 5 16 studs and they're 200 amp. So that's that's first. So I'm gonna get cables, a couple things mounted the board, and get started here. All right, so I hooked up a little basic basic setup, you know, inverter, charger, shunt, fuse, battery. So no solar. I'll charge it with the generator if I have to. Uh, I don't have anything hooked up after the inverter because I don't have the parts and when I do get the parts I'm gonna hook it up and uh, run the fridge for as long as it'll run right now we got, we got 75 amps going into the battery and uh, it's charging so everything worked out it took me about I don't know 30 minutes to put all that together the board secured to the wall. Shouldn't go anywhere. This is all temporary. And uh, I'll change it up later. But there's the basics. Alright, so the battery's still charging. I managed to find an outlet and wired it up. And I got a small extension cord for the fridge. When the battery's done charging, I'm going to hook the fridge up and see how long it runs. The uh, shunt will tell me exactly how long it'll run continuously, but it, it shuts off, so it's going to be a lie. Alright, so it's been a few days. Got this battery up in here. The Grinner Energy. It's all the inverter stuff I had before. I put a nice little uh, desk here and uh, been testing this out. It'll run the fridge for five days. 300 amp hours will run that fridge for five days. There's baby girl, she's doing all right. Um, I believe this little space heater will run on high overnight. And good battery. These are going for, I think about 800 on Amazon. And I got a 100 amp hour for 200 on Amazon right now, 209. And uh, I've just been painting this bus. What a pain. Let me show you uh, what we got done so far. And uh, I'll give you a hint as to what color we're going to paint the ribs. Mmm. Coffee. So let me show you this bus. Get this video edited. And uploaded for you guys. Here is the bus. It's a lot of silver. And uh, it's got to paint the ribs and the roof. I've been cleaning up uh, up in the wheel wells were yellow, so I painted that. And uh, yeah, just been picking at this bus. What a pain, but man, it looks good. So, 
more bus updates on the next video. Don't forget, check your oil.